Yo, what's up guys? It's Wire Guitars back again. I wanted to give you guys a brief video explaining to you my plans for my build in PoE2. This is of course in the wake of everyone and their mother telling you that you shouldn't listen to anyone's build guide right now because nobody knows what they're talking about because we don't even have numbers or confirmed skill gems. And it's all true. Okay, everything everybody is saying is true, but I'm still gonna tell you what I'm planning on doing and uh, I guess take this more as like a template. Like these are the tools that I'm gonna be messing around with the most. I'm gonna be most eager right after I submit that $30 payment for that supporter pack, get my code, get logged in on December 6th. The very first thing I'm interested in screwing around with are these following skill gems that I will link to you right now. And it is the Skeletal Arsonist. I'm gonna be most interested in toying around with this bad boy and any of its compliments. And the compliments that it seems to have to me, the ones that stand out, the tools that seem to combo with this thing are the Skeletal Brute. So that's this guy right here. Uh, mostly just focus on the picture from this. So I'll be messing around with the Skeletal Brute with the Arsonist and the Reaver. I'm gonna be messing around with the Skeletal Arsonist with the Skeletal Brute and the Skeletal Reaver. Uh, these are gonna be like the I mean, you get access to them pretty late in the campaign, except for the arsonist. You get access to this, access to this pretty early. I'll probably use the sniper. I'm gonna go like the full skeleton mancer uh, play, basically. I'm just gonna be focusing on using uh, skeletons because uh, we saw gameplay footage of that. Didn't seem like it was bad. It seemed like it was actually quite good clearing, just walking through with the skeletal frost mages from the footage that we saw. So I'm planning to just kind of like emulate that gameplay all the way up until I get access to brutes or reavers and then just throwing those guys in with arsonists and seeing how much damage I can get going on with tanky dudes and dudes that naturally lose their own HP and arsonists, and I'll throw a few clerics in for good measure. I'll probably dual wield the scepters because we know the scepters give you max spirit, right? I think Gazzy did a video on this. So, yeah. PoE2, they uh, launched a uh, little teaser some, like, regarding video scepters section in the here. interview we had with my lovely co host, Dark Microtransaction. I guess actually he's gonna. So, yeah, if you look at these, these scepters look like they're coming with spirit uh, 167 spirit printed on that so equipping these even if you have no intention of using the skill although the skills that they come with seem really nice uh malice for instance he's got that skill highlighted it seems like just a really sick aura to have uh aura type skill that you cast basically uh it doesn't seem like it reserves mana or uh spirit it seems like a debuff that you cast that increases the crit that things take from you and other minions uh, and you can stack that up so that's also just like a nice thing so i'm going to probably be sc screwing around with minions early game with scepters like these spamming out like uh clerics uh because i think you get access to clerics really early on in the game snipers because we know uh you get snipers super early on in the game i'm just gonna have those carry me all the way up through the axe until i get access to uh like i said arsonists reavers and uh skeletal brutes and uh, i'm gonna be trying those tanky dudes and those dudes that naturally lose hp with these guys the skeletal arsonist is the main bang for my army probably trying to scale minion max hp and uh using clerics as well uh, i guess i should link those guys as well because you guys let me know from my minion vi uh, video that the minions the skeletal clerics are pr rather integral to one's army because you don't want to lose minions over time because every four seconds uh, your minions can revive after you've lost one but uh, that count gets reset every time you lose a minion so skeletal clerics are uh, going to be there for healing your minions to make sure they don't die and to revive your minions when they do die uh when they are dying in a sort of a staggered fashion where they're not getting revived ever by the game's automatic revive mechanics the skeletal cleric will still be there to revive your minions over time uh so i'll screw around with all four of these minions probably uh primarily trying to see if i can't get a build working with that and if i can't then i can always just fall back on screwing around with snipers frost mages uh, and the general, like the minion damage archetype, the frost mages, the other mage type minions that have high crit base chance, like the storm mage. I'm going to be screwing around with those kinds of minions if the arsonist reaver brute combo doesn't work out for me. 
because I'm sure I can find, I'm sure just between the minions that have max health as a scaling mechanic for damage, as well as the obvious, like that will make them tankier so they can tank for me. Uh, between that archetype and the archetype of, archetype of just using crit minions, which never seems to be going, I mean, that didn't work in the, that, that definitely has worked in the past in PoE 1 uh, with summon mage skellies uh, and scaling their crit damage. Uh, I remember when that was a very powerful build in Sentinel. So I'm excited to try that in PoE 2 with frost mages or with lightning mages or with fire mages, any kind of mage they want to give us that has a 10% base crit on a ability that I can scale further with spells like Malice, uh, go right ahead. I'm definitely interested in testing around with that as well. So uh, that's going to be my plans for PoE 2 starting out. And uh, I just thought I'd let you guys know what was what was up.